What's going on guys, it's Alex here from Golf Magic and welcome back to the Golf Magic YouTube channel. Now you're joining me on a wonderful Monday morning here in the UK. Now if you're from the UK or other parts of Europe and the globe, you may have been put into a national lockdown in the last couple of weeks, which may limit your golf or just other day-to-day -day activities. It's very uncertain times right now and especially in winter it does make it a lot harder, so I hope you're all coping okay. But one thing that can cheer all amateur golfers up is the Masters. The Masters is coming to us in 2020 in November, arguably one of the best professional tournaments in the world. And what we're going to do today is Golf Magic and other very special guests are going to give their Masters predictions and why we think these players are going to be in the top 5 or top 10 come Sunday. On the show today, we have Mia Baker and Golf Rabble giving their Masters predictions. But first, let's give Golf Magic's prediction who we think is going to win the Masters. So, Golf Magic's pick for the Masters in 2020 in November is none other than Matthew Wolf. I'm sure you're thinking, this may be a little bit of a controversial pick. A rookie at the Masters, a 21-year-old man who has never played in the Masters before, has had some up and down form. Why are we picking him? So, if you look at his major form, he has finished tied second and tied fourth in the majors this year just being outlasted by Bryson DeChambeau and Dustin Johnson. It seems that this man has no nerves when it comes to the main stage, and so we're thinking the Masters is the exact type of course that he can excel in. Although he hasn't played it so far, this course is right up his street. What he struggled in the US Open was his putting from long range because you couldn't hold the greens in short distance. His strokes gained off the tee and tee to green were superb, and that's why he was doing so well in these major tournaments. But in the US Open type courses, he would land at 15 foot and it would roll to 50 or 60 foot, which is what he really struggled with and would three putt quite a lot of the time. At Augusta, the greens are a bit softer and you can hold these greens. Now, the uncertainty here is that because these greens are still so difficult to play on, he may struggle a little bit, but his strokes gained off the tee and tee to green should make up for this. It's really important that you can putt well from 10 foot and in at the Masters, and this is where Matthew Wolf really excels in. So I expect him to make a lot of birdies for the tournament. We've seen a lot of people talking about the big hitters, Bryson DeChambeau, Tony Finau. They're right in that. I think a big hitter will win this tournament, but Matthew Wolf was ranked first in driving distance at the US Open, the tournament where Bryson DeChambeau won and kind of made this distance debate even bigger than it already is. Yes, Bryson can hit further than him, but Matthew Wolf hits driver more or less every single time that he can do this, and I expect him to do this at the Masters as well. His accuracy is pretty spot on with his driver, and with not too much trouble around the fairways here, just some pine straw, I think he's going to go for it for every single par 4 and par 5. At 35-1, to 1, I think Matthew Wolf is outstanding value here. He's definitely going to finish in the top 5, and I think he's going to take home that green jacket come Sunday. He has had some shaky form for the last two tournaments, but that's why his odds has pushed a little bit better, so jump on it if you can. So, next up on our predictions, we have a very special guest in Golf Rabble. Now, Golf Rabble is an Instagram and YouTube channel that provides PGA Tour news, highlights, equipments, memes, and much, much more. So, I'll put the links down in the description so you can check out their Instagram and YouTube channel and see what they're all about. So, let's get right in with their prediction. Hey, Casey with Golf Rabble here. My predictions for the 2020 Masters are Tony Finau. He took 10th place in his first Masters and fifth in his second. I think he doesn't have a lot of wins on tour, but I think he is a major contender. Um, he always seems to be a contender in the majors and some players are just built for majors. I think he's one of them. And my other pick would be Bryson DeChambeau. I think everything he's doing this year to be longer, and he also, as Jordan Spieth says, puts the crap out of the ball. I mean, that's what, I think that's what you need at the Masters. It reminds me of 1997 Tiger, who just crushed the ball down the middle and made a lot of putts. Um, that's, that's Bryson this year, I think. So those are my two picks for the 2020 Masters. Tony Finau, Bryson DeChambeau. So, some very interesting picks there with Tony Finau and Bryson DeChambeau. We seem to be going along the big hitters route, which I think is, it's pretty obvious that a big hitter will win this tournament. Correct me if I'm wrong come Sunday, but it looks like this course is going to be overpowered at Augusta National. Now, last but not least, in our Golf Magic Masters predictions, we have a very special guest of Mia Baker. 
Now, Mia Baker is a social media superstar who has risen to stardom very quickly in the last year due to her unbelievably positive attitude on the game of golf and her wanting to grow the game of golf in facets that may seem a little bit undeveloped in 2020. You may have seen Mia on videos like Rick Shields in a podcast and a little three-hole challenge and in American Golf as well. So let's get right into Mia Baker's predictions. Hi Golf Magic. So I've actually got three picks for the Masters. So my first one is Tyrrell Hatton because you've always got to support a fellow Brit. Um, second, we've got Colin Morikawa. He's really young and always likes to see someone encouraging more youngsters to pick up the game. And then finally, we've got Xander Chauffe because, I don't know, just really like him. I think he's quite like sweet and I'm rooting for him to win. So some very interesting predictions there from Mia. Although not maybe the longest of hisses, I think Xander Schauffele especially is one to keep an eye on for the Masters tournament. His form this year has been pretty good and although he hasn't won that many tournaments due to his inconsistent form over the weekends, he's definitely one to keep an eye on come Sunday. As you can see by this video, this was all done online via Zoom. Unfortunately, due to lockdown, we can't meet anyone face to face. But as soon as lockdown's over, we'll definitely start planning these things for the future. So keep an eye on our YouTube channel for future interviews with superstars like Mia and Golf Rebel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's really interesting to look behind the stats and previous winners and how we think this year is going to pan out. I'm pretty heavy on Matthew Wolf, but if you think anyone else is going to win, let us know down in the comments and why you think they're going to take home that green jacket come Sunday. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that button down below to keep up to date with all of our Masters content and more content going forward. We've got a few really exciting giveaways coming up, so make sure you keep the notifications on so you can be the first one to see all our videos. I'll see you guys at the next video.